attribution data will allow you to gain insights into funds, ETFs, and portfolios to better understand what factors are driving their performance. In this video, we'll go over where to access attribution data, the different types, and how to go about exporting the data. As you can see here, I'm already on the attribution page of an ETF. All I did here was search that ETF and then in this gray ribbon up top, I selected attribution. The first attribution tab we have is absolute. This will be pretty straightforward. It is just going to take the weight of the holding and then multiply it by its return to get the data shown before you. The first thing that will show is this heat map and this is going to allow you to view the top eight contributors and detractors of a portfolio uh, over various time periods, which you can select up here. So obviously I'm going in, I'm adjusting the look back period, and then the holdings will adjust as well. Further down is the attribution table itself. So this is going to show all of the holdings, and then this is going to show their contributions over different time periods. I'm able to sort the holdings by any of the columns up here. So I can go in and if I want to view by symbol, I can view by name or even weight or the contributions. I'm currently viewing the attribution in dollars, but I can go ahead and also switch this to weights as well. If I head back up to the top up here and select relative, this is just going to view performance relative to a benchmark. So I can go ahead and select the benchmark. Currently it's sent to the S&P 500, but I can choose a custom benchmark and enter that security if I'd like. I'm happy with the S&P 500, so I'm going to go back there. And then I'm able to view the attribution either by equity style, or I can also view by sector if I'd like. Same thing as before, I can also view data with different look back periods so I can make those adjustments and the bottom charts will update. If I head further down, the next chart I will come upon is our bar chart. And this is going to show me the relative returns for each of the different sectors. If I selected equity style, it would show equity style instead. And then at the bottom here, I'm able to view a performance chart. So this is just going to compare the portfolio return to the benchmark return and tell me the excess return of each sector. If I head to a model portfolio, the attribution is going to look very similar here. We'll start with that heat map. This is great for me to see, you know, what securities do I need to either remove from my portfolio? Maybe they're not contributing much or what securities do I need to add more of to my portfolio if they're doing really well and providing really high returns. If I'm holding any type of client meeting and I would like to show and present my client with this information, I can actually export the attribution table here. If I select export, I can either choose to export to an Excel file or I can download as a PDF if I select this going to allow me to give it a name. I'm just going to click download and then I'm going to open that up here. And as you can see here, it's going to create a PDF of exactly how that attribution table looks. So if I went in and I sorted by any of these different columns here and then exported a new PDF, it will update that as well. If you have any questions on our attribution data, please reach out to your designated account manager.